Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're gonna talk about a piece of the operating room that you should probably know about. It's laminar flow. And the reason that you guys should probably know about this is once before I was asked by a nurse which of our operating rooms have laminar flow, because not all of them do. And she needed this information because the patient that they were gonna treat was a high risk patient. And some patients have certain diseases where they can catch diseases really easily or catch infections very easily. And because of that, these type of patients, they want to stick in laminar flow operating rooms. Not all of them are. Laminar flow is when you have a central column of air that's linear. That's why it's called laminar, is because there's linear air that comes down straight on top of the operating room table and from there it goes outwards towards the walls where it's collected up and recirculated back through HEPA filters. Well, laminar flow, there's lots of different styles. The, the, the ones that I can think of are air curtain. There's little vents that look like slots and they're usually surrounding the operating room table. That's an air curtain that shoots down and away. And then there's the ones that look like metal grates and those uh, allow direct airflow straight down on the table and then there's the style that we see in a lot of foreign countries foreign to the United States it's um, it's a dropped ceiling with a usually clear panels and the air comes down over the table and it circulates back up where the air is collected up near those panels that's in the dropped ceiling so the air does this in the room um, we don't we don't really see those too much here in the United States, but we do see the the stainless steel grates or the the clear grates, and we see the air curtains quite often. And often now they're incorporating LED lights into these um, these laminar flow panels, which is kind of cool cool effect. I like them, but not too many operating rooms have laminar flow. Uh, maybe some of the newer ones they're getting more and more, but I'm going to include some photos here to, to show you guys some examples of what it is. Basically, if somebody talks about laminar flow, it's air that is linear to itself so it never collides because if you were to see like a ceiling fan or something, the air is very turbulent. It's, it's, it's got dead spots and some spots moving. With laminar flow, the air is steady and it's, it's linear to itself and it's flowing down and across the room evenly. So there's no dead spots. And if you guys didn't know, operating rooms are under pressure. So when you walk into an operating room, you feel the air hit you in the face. That's because you're in a positive pressure in the operating room. And there's three, sometimes four different pressure levels in around operating rooms. There's your corridors, which are a regular pressure. I, I don't know the the exact value, but it's it's regular pressure. And then you have the central core, which is at pressure level two. So when you go from a corridor into the core, you'll usually feel the air hit you in the face. Then when you go into an operating room, you have yet more air hit you in the face. So operating room is the highest pressure, then there's the core, and then there's your hallways. And basically, if you go into an operating room from either the core or from the hallway, the air should push outwards, which pushes all the bacteria and contaminants out and away from the patient. That's the entire goal of this whole thing, is to move air down and away from the patient so that uh, the environment around the sterile field stays as clean as possible. So guys, that's today's little tidbit, laminar flow. And take a look in your operating rooms. Maybe you'll see it. Sometimes it looks like some perforated panels and you won't really notice it, but that's exactly what it is. The air comes in through the ceiling right above the OR table. It's filtered air, goes down and across the room where it's either collected by wall vents or it's circulated up to collection filters around the drop ceiling in the middle. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. 
I've got some other uh, little tidbits I'll be bringing to you very soon. So thanks for watching.